Hey guys, Antonalog here, and this is Logitech's brand new mid-range mechanical keyboard, the G413. So for the $89 price tag, you get a great build. It's made out of sturdy plastic that doesn't bend or creak, and on top there's an aluminum plate that comes in both a carbon and silver color. They finally removed the glossy sides of the keyboards that they included on the G610 and G810 and made it matte like it was supposed to be in the first place. On the top right, you have standard LEDs for caps lock and gaming lock, but there are no dedicated media keys and a volume wheel, which is something I would definitely like to see on a budget keyboard. Anyways, they do have a USB pass-through, which is nice. You can use it for something like connecting your headset or a mouse, but the cable management through the bottom isn't the most logical, and I'm not really sure how you're supposed to use it, especially if you have a wrist rest attached. Anyways, the switch that this keyboard uses is the Logitech Roamer G keys. It's supposed to give you 25% faster actuation and 10 milliseconds faster processing than the Black Widow Chroma V2, but honestly, you won't really notice it unless you're a god level gamer. It's really up to you if you like the Roamer G switches, but personally, I prefer Cherry MX Browns. So Roamer G switches are like a brown slash red hybrid. It has a tactile bump of browns, but lighter and higher up in the key switch, so most of the actuation is smooth like red. Here's a quick sound test. So the keys have red or white backlighting depending on the color you get. Here I have the carbon version which has red backlighting and the silver one has white backlighting. The backlighting is pretty good, it's mostly even except for the front printed symbols or the words like enter and shift, but other than that it's a pretty solid and bright backlight. So Logitech includes these contoured gaming keys and I don't really find them useful but they don't hinder as well. It feels kind of weird when you type with it, so I didn't notice my typing or my gaming becoming better or more accurate, but it kind of feels weird and kind of looks weird, so I prefer not to use it. So another great feature of this keyboard is that you can customize the function keys through the Logitech gaming software. And it basically acts as macros, which is great because you don't see this on any $89 keyboard. The Logitech gaming software is really easy and simple to use. You can't customize which key specifically you want the light to shine on. You can only do fully on or fully off and of course the brightness levels. Other than that, it's basically a super minimalistic mid-range mechanical keyboard that has a great build quality for under $100. And honestly, it really comes down to whether or not you're a fan of the Roamer G switches. I encourage you to go try it out at your local store to see if you like it, because if you do, it's definitely a great keyboard. But if the Roamer G switches aren't your thing, then you'll want to look somewhere else like the G610 or any other mechanical Cherry MX keyboard. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, tell me why in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.